going to start subtraction of fractions with the double number line. And again, again, this is a model. So the point of the model is to stretch your intuition, these fractions, to help you think about what's actually happening. It's not a foolproof model, it's not perfect. It's just something we can use to help us understand the idea behind each subtraction problem. So let's get started. Again, with a double number line, you want to pick a number that 4 and 5 are both factors of, a friendly number like, let's say, 20. And then what we can do is say, well, what's 1 fifth of 20? That's just 4 because 5 goes into 20 four times. So here's about 10. Let's say that this is about 5. There's 4. So that's about a fifth of 20 is right here. And I'll make a little, little dot at 4. What about 1 fourth of 20? What's that? Well, that's, a, that's 5, right? Because 1 fourth goes into 20 5 times. So we can say that 1 fourth. Now with subtraction, excuse me, we want to find out, in some ways you can think of this as a difference. How far apart are these two dots? Right? What's that difference? Well, it's just one space. And we're dealing out of 20, so it's 1 out of 20. So all you're doing is looking at the difference, the distance between these two points. That goes up here, that's this number. And then 20, that's a denominator, that goes down here. Because what you're saying is the difference between these two fractions is 1 out of 20. And that's what this fraction means, 1 out of 20. Let's try another subtraction problem here. We have 3 fifths minus 1 tenth. So 5 and 10 both go into 10 very nicely. And this time, let's start with 3 fifths. What is 3 fifths of 10? Well, 1 fifth of 10 is, is 2, right? Because 5 goes into 10 twice. So 4, 3, 2, um, 1. I'll put 1 there as well. And these should be evenly spaced apart. I'm just not getting that. Uh, so if 1 fifth is here, 3 fifths will be 3 times that. So instead of 2 out of 10, it would be 6 out of 10. And we'll just color that in here. So that would be 3 fifths. 1 tenth is just down here, it's 1 out of 10, right? Because 10 goes into 10 once, and that's 1 tenth. So you're finding, you know, what is 3 fifths minus 1 tenth? What's the distance between these two points? What is that? Well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 out of what? Well, here we're dealing out of 10, so it's 5 tenths, and that's 1 half. So the difference between these two fractions is just 1 half. And our last problem here in this string, 3 fourths minus 1 fifth. What do we do? Well, 4 and 5 are both friendly with the number 20. So just like in the first problem there, and we knew what 1 fourth and 1 fifth was. So 1 fourth was, was 5. Here we have 3 fourths. That's going to bring us to 15. That's 3 fourths. We label that. 1 fifth, again, is just 4. I'm going to be a little bit looser here with my construction because I know the idea now. How far apart are 4 and 15? Well, they're 11 apart. So here I can say if I subtract the difference between these two, it's like getting 11 out of 20. And that would be my answer. And again, all I'm saying here is that this distance is 11. It's out of 20. And the one before that, that distance again was 5. So it was 5 out of 10. And in the first one, the distance was 1 out of 20. And those are our answers. And in the next couple of strings, we'll keep working this out.